first off, off the top, out the gate, thank you very much to Curiosity Stream for sponsoring this video. Been having fun with the documentary videos and I'll talk a little more about them later, but first, some Jumanji mayhem. Let's review that. Jumanji The Next Level. So Jumanji The Next Level is the sequel to Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. We have the returning cast, Dwayne Johnson, Jack Black, Karen Gillan, Kevin Hart, and this time there's a new, well, I was gonna say new mechanic. Same mechanic, new gimmick. Long story short, they're not necessarily in the same bodies as before, so now the actors have to do new things. I thought that was really cool. It's probably more fun for them, it's enjoyable for you to see how they interpret the other character. I mean, I like it. Now first and foremost, the movie's funny. It being a comedy, pretty important. I was laughing in the movie. Kevin Hart and Jack Black, man. Dude. See, moments like this are why I argue when people say, oh, Kevin Hart sucks. He's not funny. I find the dude to be really talented, really funny. He's not always in good things. But even in those movies that might be bad, you can tell it's like, all right, you got a paycheck. But I can still see you got it. I can still see something there. And you totally see it here. In terms of the impersonations they have to do, Jack Black and Kevin Hart, man. At first, The Rock, I was like, is that is that the voice you should be doing? And I was like, oh, oh, he's doing Cuckoo's Nest. I get it, it makes more sense. Now, granted, the movie's a sequel. We already know the rules. That was the enjoyment in the first movie. The surprisingly enjoyable. Oh, I guess the first movie is actually the second movie. Welcome to the jungle. That's, a, that's the second movie. Point is that movie, you know, it was neat finding out about all oh, the lives they have on their arms. They only have three of them, okay. So you already know those rules. So this movie has to amp it up and be like, all right, there are new things you need to figure out. There are new mechanics. And they still have to play with the old rules. Point is, I felt like this movie did what sequels do, which is get a bit zany. I had fun for the most part, but there was a point where I was like, I feel like I'm in an improv comedy club right now. Where it's like, all right, you're doing this. Oh, sweet. All right, now you two swap and you have to do that. All right, you two swap. There was one mechanic in particular this movie kept messing with. And granted, it was fun seeing the actors play with it. It was fun seeing Kevin Hart have to do that and then that. Jack Black doing that and then that. So if you're looking at it with like, oh, how fun are the actors having? It looked like a lot of fun. But as for a movie being cohesive, I felt like the movie was playing ping pong. It didn't know where to commit and I felt like this was happening because well it's a sequel and sequels have to do more it has to be bigger and is bigger better well that's the question I don't mean to sound like I'm bagging on the movie I don't mean for that to be the case the movie's pretty much what you probably thought the movie would be if you enjoyed the first <clears throat> Second Jumanji movie. Welcome to the jungle, that is. Is it as focused and clean as the previous movie? No. But is it a fun adventure? Yes, for the most part. And did the movie make me laugh? Yes, I laughed quite a few times in this movie. And those things make me forgive the moments I felt like the movie was going Looney Tunes because they felt like the audience was getting bored so they had to do zany things. But all in all, I'll say I had a good time. No alcohol required. As mentioned earlier, this video is brought to you by Curiosity Stream. Curiosity Stream is the world's first subscription streaming service that offers thousands of documentary videos. As I've said before on here, I love a good documentary video. I love quenching that thirst for knowledge. Oh, we all love it, right? There's a series on Curiosity Stream called Dream the Future with an episode called Entertainment of the Future. Not gonna lie, if Jumanji was a thing, I'd get it. <laughs> I'd totally do it. You would, don't even lie, you would too. So click the link below to go to curiositystream.com slash johns, enter promo code johns when signing up and get your first 30 days free of Curiosity Stream. And for a limited time, annual plans and gift cards, still 40% off. Black Friday ain't over on my watch. Tell you that. So thank you once again to Curiosity Stream for sponsoring this video. I do appreciate it. All right, so Jumanji the next level. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.